This one trick has completely changed how I color grade my videos and it's actually criminal how easy it is. I'm gonna show you how by using Lightroom and making a custom LUT. So let's quickly get into it guys. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. This is where we're gonna start. I have like color corrected this and I've adjusted my exposure. Basically all you do is you scroll along until you find a nice frame that you like and in Final Cut Pro, you come up here and you go save current frame. If you don't see that, you can click here and add destination and then just drag it across. Since we already have that, we're just gonna export current frame, not image sequence, because that will give you all the images, which you don't want, you just want the one. Save current frames, go into settings, and I use a TIFF file. So we're just gonna export that to my desktop and just Save it as untitled. So now we're on the desktop. What you need to do is you need to download this software. It's called LUT Generator. There will be a link in the description below. It is completely free. It's a donation based. So we're gonna generate a hold file. We're just gonna put this in my desktops. Open that there. And now we have a PNG hold file. So we now open up Lightroom Classic. I use Lightroom Classic, Command Shift I, import, and we select these two files. Basically, you just go in the develop tab and you just edit this photo like normal. Yeah, so I'm happy with this edit now. Um, that is the after, that's the before. So I'm not really doing a ton. Um, I've still got my tone curve. I've taken away all of my exposure. I haven't touched the white balance or highlights or shadows. I feel that's what you should be using in the editing software. And if you don't touch these, the LUT actually becomes more use useful in other LUTs. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we select it on this photo, go Control C, and we're just gonna uncheck them all. And basically I just check the ones that I wanna keep. So vibrant, saturation, whites and blacks. Uh, we don't wanna put any texture clarity or anything like that. We definitely want the tone curve, if you've used the tone curve. HSL color and color grading. We don't need sharpening, lens correction, transform, effects, spot removal, crop, masking, but we will need the color calibration. So we're gonna copy that and then we just go to here and go Command V. And as you can see, that has that's the before and that's the after. So that's applied our look. So now you want to go Command Shift E and export that. If you scroll down, you want to exported as a PNG. PNG has got more um, color depth and stuff like that. Uh, don't want to sharpen it. Don't want to do any other stuff. You don't really want to do too much to it. So basically, when you export it, you export it where you want it to go, you give it a name, and you use a PNG file. So we're going to export that, get our Lightroom. Now we're going to go back to our free LUT generator. And instead of generating a halt file, we're going to get a cube file. I made a little bit of a mistake and I put it in a subfolder and I put it here. So just remember where you put it. Uh, you're gonna open that and look at that. Operation completed, successful. So now our, we can get rid of that and that is our custom LUT that we've made. So we can go back into Final Cut Pro, chuck a custom LUT onto here and we can choose it, choose custom LUT. Um, and it's right there. And that's applied our look and our LUT. And you can basically see it It does a really good job. Like I'm really happy with that. I mean, you can also dial down the LUT, LUT if you want. Yes, yeah, so that's basically it. That's all you do. And I haven't had any issues with it. I feel um, that you can make a really custom look per your camera. And also I use drone, I, I do this for my drone clips, but as you can see, if you put a drone like edit on it, it just doesn't work. That's why it's so good to have different presets and make your own presets for different scenarios, for in the bush, for at the beach, concrete jungle, whatever you want to do. As you can see, that was actually way too easy to color grade videos, and that's the only way from now on that I'm gonna make my own LUTs, and I'm not gonna purchase any more LUTs again. 
If you like this content, make sure you hit that like button down below. Remember why you're down there, there is that free LUT that we created today. Also, in my previous video, I gave out a free preset, so make sure you check that out and subscribe for more free LUTs and more free pre presets because there's more content like this coming soon. As always guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and we will see you in the next one.